This is malaria. Its history causes and prevention. This diagram shows the sequence of infection and transmission from host to host. The parasite infects two hosts when a mosquito bites an already infected human. The parasite has time to develop and grow in the gut of the mosquito for a week or more. The parasite then moves from the gut of the mosquito to its salivary gland where it will stay until the mosquito feeds on the blood of a human. The parasite is transmitted to the human via the saliva of the mosquito during its feeding. The parasites enter the bloodstream of the human and travel to the liver. In the liver, the parasites live in the liver cells from a week up to multiple years. During this time, they multiply in number and grow. Once they are ready to leave, the parasites enter back into the bloodstream and infect the red, bl red blood cells or urethrocytes. The urethrocytes burst methodically, releasing an increasing number of parasites back into the bloodstream. Every time a red blood cell bursts and releases the parasites, a bout of malarial symptoms are felt by the human. History of malaria. The first signs and symptoms of malaria were described in medical writings in 2700 BCE and became more prevalent in Greece in the 4th century. This caused a globally recognised population decline in many cities. The discovery of the King Hao plant was significant in the development of anti-malarial drugs used today alongside quinine treatments. Charles Louis Alphonse Laveran and Ronald Ross were the two main scientists involved in the discovery of the malaria parasite. Charles noticed the malaria parasite while studying the blood of an infected patient. Camilo Golgi was the neurophysiologist who discovered that there were multiple forms of malaria. The plasmodium species known to cause malaria are plasmodium falciparum, plasmodium vivax, plasmodium oval, plasmodium malariae and plasmodium nolesi. In 1890, Giovanni Battista Grassi and Raimondo Filetti named two of the plasmodium parasites known as Plasmodium vivax and P. malariae. The discovery that mosquitoes transmit malaria was discovered by Ronald Ross. He discovered that mosquitoes contracted malaria from biting infected humans. Ross set up an experiment to prove his theory and discovered that malaria could be carried and passed on to humans through the bite of a mosquito. This was discovered while he was examining the stomach tissue of a mosquito. The discovery of the transmission of malaria was made by a group of Italian scientists. They set up an experiment consisting of mosquitoes biting malaria patients and then days later biting patients without malaria. The latter of these groups soon developed malaria symptoms. There are no vaccinations for malaria currently. While the vaccine is possible to make, there are concerns that there are limited resources available. Over the past few years, there have been many significant developments in the vaccinations, however, it is still being tested for potential risks. Chloroquine was discovered in 1936 by Hans Andershag. In 1946, it was found as a safe and effective anti-malarial still used today. It works by altering and disarming malaria parasites, hence killing them. It can be used for the treatment and prevention of malaria. Dichloro, diphenyl, trichloroethane has been used for the prevention and control of malaria since 1939. DDT can be sprayed in houses and wells to prevent further transmission of malaria. DDT is cheaper than other chemicals, however it is hazardous to wildlife, sparking moral debates about its use. In 1995, the World Health Organization proposed total eradication of malaria worldwide. Successes of this initiative resulted in house sprains and anti-malarial medications use, reducing malaria cases. Failures included a spike in malaria cases where malaria was not maintained. Also attributed to the failure was a lack of funding and participation. Introducing the relevant Australian case study. In 2002, a 29-year-old male was admitted into hospital with pv vax malaria, along with two other people he was living with. It was contracted at Noah Beach in the Daintree Rainforest in northern Queensland. All three victims pointed out that there were pools of mosquitoes all around the water. Around the same time, a 57-year-old was admitted into hospital with malaria in the same area. Doctors soon found out that the 29-year-old man and his roommates had camped in the same place as the 57-year-old within one month of each other. After the 57-year-old had contracted the disease while overseas, it was picked up by the numerous mosquitoes at Noah Beach and passed on to the younger campus. Two weeks later, there were 10 reported cases to the NNDSS. We all know nature is a dangerous place. 
You've got to be careful out there in the field. 